Hello YouTube friends and family. My name's Jim and I'm starting this YouTube channel called Photon Rookie Up so that I can share some of the astrophotography images I've managed to get over the last six months. The only pieces of equipment I use are the Seastar S50 smart telescope and my smartphone. Every single image that you see on this channel came from those two devices and were taken by me, unless otherwise stated. You never know, we might have a guest or image or two on this channel. Uh, the Sea Star Telescope costs $499, and other than that, the only thing I've spent on this hobby is time. Uh, it used to be astrophotography, you would have to spend five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars to get into it. Now, the big rigs do take much better pictures than the Sea Star. But the Sea Star punches above its weight, and I think as this channel progresses and you see some of the images that uh, we're going to put up for you to see, you'll you'll agree. Uh, on this first video, we're going to start with M16, the Eagle Nebula, and then we're going to look at the Andromeda Galaxy. Uh, after you watch the video, let me know if you like the format. Uh, any suggestions you have? Any changes you'd like for me to make? Just put it down in the comments. Uh, I'm not copywriting any of my images. If you see an image I put on here that you like and you want to use it for something, take it. It's all yours. I'm not looking to make money with this. This channel is just to share these images with family, friends, and other people who are interested in this sort of thing. Uh, putting it on Facebook wasn't getting it because as your Facebook feed ages, the images kind of drop away, at least this way on YouTube that can be cataloged and you can go in the channel menu and pick which objects you want to look at. So anyway, take a look at uh, what we're starting out with today. Any suggestions you'd like to make, please let me know. If you have any questions about anything, please ask in the comments. I promise to get back with you. Uh, the last thing is, this is not a technical channel. We're not going to go into real deep specifics on the technicality of the C-Star S50 or using the smartphone for astrophotography. There are a lot of great YouTube videos out there that cover that far better than I could. I do want to give a shout out to Rich at his YouTube channel, Deep Space Astro. Uh, what little bit I've become good at in this hobby is due to his information on his channel. And the last thing before we get started with what I call the good stuff, I'm dedicating this channel to my niece, Kendall who is my biggest fan for this astro astrophotography uh, hobby. Anyway, let's get to it and let's take a look at what we've got this time. Here's a picture of my C-Star S50 Smart Scope. On this day I had it set up in my driveway taking images of the sun. A quick warning, if you decide to take up astrophotography, clouds are going to be your biggest enemy. As soon as you make plans and start getting prepared, they will show up. Here's a picture I took with my smartphone of an imaging session with the Sea Star. This picture was taken up on the Blue Ridge Parkway at the Devil's Backbone Overlook near Callaway, Virginia. On this night morning, we were actually imaging M16, the Eagle Nebula. Here is the raw image taken from the C-Star S50. This image was produced by stacking 12,107 10 second subs or exposures together. That's about 34 hours of observation time. After processing the image, you can see we brought out lots more color and detail. The Eagle Nebula, also known as the Star Queen Nebula, is a young open cluster of stars in the constellation Serpens, discovered by Jean-Philippe de Chazeau in 1745. Both the Eagle and the Star Queen refer to the visual impressions of the dark silhouette near the center of the nebula, an area made famous as the Pillars of Creation imaged by the Hubble Space Telescope. The nebula contains several active star-forming gas and dust regions, including the aforementioned Pillars of Creation. The Eagle Nebula lies in the Sagittarius arm of the Milky Way. 
the Eagle Nebula is 5,700 light years from Earth. That equates to 34,200 trillion miles. Here's a close-up of the center of the Eagle Nebula showing the pillars of creation. It's interesting to note that that object in the center that looks kind of like a rooster holding a crossbow is five light years tall. So that little object right there is 30 trillion miles tall. The next object we're going to check out is the Andromeda Galaxy. Here is the raw image straight from the Sea Star Telescope. In the processed image, you can now clearly see the huge lanes of dust and gas that circle the central part of the galaxy. The Andromeda Galaxy is a barred spiral galaxy and is the nearest major galaxy to our galaxy, the Milky Way. It was originally named the Andromeda Nebula and is cataloged as M31. Andromeda has a diameter of about 152,000 light years and is approximately 2.5 million light years from Earth. That equates to 15 million trillion miles from us. The galaxy's name stems from the area of Earth's sky in which it appears, the constellation of Andromeda, which itself is named after the princess who was the wife of Perseus in Greek mythology. It's interesting to note that the Andromeda galaxy contains over one trillion stars. All right, those are the objects we have for this week. I hope you enjoyed them. Um, just one thing to touch on, uh, this channel, again, is for people who are interested in astrophotography, but they're not experts. Uh, I got interested in this. I took a couple of electives in college concerning astronomy, and just over the years, I've stayed interested in it, and, you know, finally being retired, I decided to get into it. So, I hope you enjoyed uh, the images that we looked at today. Maybe you'll get inspired to buy a Sea Star or some other smart telescope. There are several on the market and get into it. But I'm telling you, it's a rabbit hole. It's a lot of fun, but it will take a lot of your time. Um, there's a little bit of a learning curve, but if I can do it, you can do it. So that's it till next time. If, again, if you have any suggestions for the channel or there's a particular object you would like to see that I can go out and capture for you, just let me know and we'll see what we can do. Anyway, thanks for watching.